Hey everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques, and if you are here, be sure to go up top, ring that bell, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, that would be great. I hope you enjoyed the video, let's get right to it. Hey, hey. I'm on vacation every single day, cause I love my occupation, hey. I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Okay, guys, uh, this is John from Nevermore Antiques, and I am going to show you the top 20 items that I sold on eBay in the month of October. Today is Halloween, so it's the last day of the month. So I thought I would record this video real quick and show you guys some of the awesome stuff that I've sold. So let's hop right into it. The first item that I have here that I have sold is a heavy shot. It's a choke for a shotgun. It goes inside the barrel. It's a uh, really neat item. I picked it up at a yard sale. I paid literally like two bucks for it. Flipped it for 60 and free shipping. Uh, always be on the lookout for gun parts. You can't sell guns on eBay, but you can sell stocks, chokes. You can sell uh, some barrels, uh, some accessories. Just uh, be careful. You can't sell receivers and you cannot sell complete guns. Uh, the next item here is car parts, car parts, car parts. Uh, I sold this Jeep uh, mat that goes in the back of a Jeep, you know, to catch all the crumbs and the dirt. As I always tell you, car parts sell great. Sold it for 50 bucks. Here's a neat item. It's a lot of seven vintage tennis rackets and badminton rackets. Um... I bought them for like two bucks at an auction and they flipped for 75 bucks and the person paid shipping on top so that worked out perfect the next item I have up here is clothing Harley Davidson really exotic locations like from like this was from Dublin Ireland overseas really popular de uh, destinations old stuff Stuff from the 80s and 90s, that stuff sells fantastic. Always be on the lookout. That was a $60 flip. I bought it at Goodwill for 3 bucks. An inner fender for a Chevy pickup truck. Uh, what do you got to... There ain't really a whole lot you can say about that. Uh, it's still part of the Chevrolet dealership buyout that I did, and it's still paying dividends. Here is something that a lot of you might not realize that sells for really good money, but these are a lot of the mixed, small, little Gideon Bibles. Uh, actually, there's 39 of them, and I sold them for $75 shipped. That's a crazy price. Uh, here is an 1895 Jack Daniels replica bottle that came with the box and the hang tag. If you can find uh, Jack Daniels bottles with the hang tag, and the box or just the bottle and the hang tag a lot of these will sell for really good money and I actually was really fortunate enough to uh, buy a collection of these uh, probably I think it was either in September or early October here is another car part um, sold it for actually sold it for 65 plus shipping I took an offer on it it's for a Ford I probably I think I bought them at a I think I bought them in an outdoor flea market and paid $10 for the pair of them. Here is a tablet that I bought at auction. It was a locked. It was account locked. Um, I sold it for $75. Bucks. I bought it for $10 at the auction because they couldn't get it to charge. If you notice, I got it to turn on. I got it to charge. Here is a really good deal. I sold these uh, vintage brown club aluminum pans. They sold for 80 bucks. I actually got these for free. They came from my mother-in-law. Thank you, Eleanor. I really appreciate it. Here is another Jack Daniels bottle. Um, really cool little item. 1914 gold medal. Uh, that's the hang tag that I'm talking about. If you find those old Jack Daniel Daniels bottles and they come with those hang tags, you will make good money. I made... 90 bucks on that and I think I bought that at auction and I probably paid five bucks for it this is a horrible picture it's kind of blurry but it's kind of hard to get pictures of bottles like that I paid um, something along the line of I think I paid 25 bucks for it I actually sold this for 125 took a best offer on it I made a hundred bucks minus my fees so it was a pretty good item we're working our way through this list really quick Another Jack Daniels bottle. 
Um, it's in the box. Has the hang tag, of course. Sold it for 60 bucks with shipping on top. That worked out pretty good. This was a really cool item. It was a Tommy Hilfiger puffer jacket that I picked up. I think I picked it up at Goodwill. I might have paid 10 bucks for it. It did have... No, no. This was an auction find, and I paid a lot less than 10 bucks. I probably paid like 5 or 3 bucks for it at the auction. It sold for $109, and um, it did have some minor staining, but it was just a great-looking jacket. Now, I had to leave it listed for a long time uh, before I could sell it and make any money because, well, it just had to get cold before people were in the market for really fantastic-looking jackets. Okay. <clears throat> This is another lot of books that I sold. This was actually a consignment item. These were brought into my store. The lady only wanted 20 bucks for them. And I told her that I would do her better than that. I said that if you will let me take them in on consignment, I'll list them on eBay, and I'll split it with you, 50-50. So she's going to make a little over uh, 40 bucks, which is twice what she wanted out of them. Uh, after fees uh, for, you know, just let me have them listed for about a month and a half, which worked out, which worked out really well. This was a really weird score. I picked this up at a yard sale, and it was mannequin heads. I took an offer of like 125 on it, and they paid shipping, and it sold, and they're gone, and I am not upset about that because they were kind of creepy. Here is a really cool item that I actually sold for a friend of mine. It was a Ken Richardson hunting knife. Uh, they were sold at Bass Pro Shop. And um, I sold it for $115. And they paid shipping. I think when it was all said and done with, uh, my buddy got a check for $100. I charged absolutely nothing for doing that for him. He's just a good friend. He's the guy that was on my live the other day. His name was Ernie. Uh, just a big teddy bear. This was a really cool item. Another item that walked into my store. It was a 50-50 split. I sold it for $119. I think, my, I think the consigner ended up with, uh, after fees, I think he got like 64 bucks, Something like that, 64 bucks. We were a 50-50 split on that, so that worked out pretty good. Um, here is a really cool find. This was a Goodwill find. And I paid 3 bucks a piece for those uh, books. And there were 23 volumes. So let's do the quick math. I could do it in my head, but we have visual here. So I paid $70 for that set. And I flipped it for $174.95 and they paid shipping on top so that worked out pretty good um, it had to go with two separate boxes and I think uh, they were about 30 bucks a piece to ship um, maybe 25 so I lost a little bit on shipping but I walked away from that with uh, with about eighty dollars profit so that was a pretty good deal I'll take that all day long and then this was something that I had bought. I always tell you guys that you need to go to Habitat for Humanity. You want to check them out. You always want to be looking at your Habitat stores. I bought these there. And I paid a buck a piece for them. And listed them. Forgot about them. And then somebody came along. And I sold all eight of them to the same guy. And... Uh, I think he offered me 25 bucks a piece. I sold them to him and shipped them, and so far, so good. They were sold on November 5th, or estimated delivery between November 5th and November 7th. So um, he should have got them. That's been a long time ago. So I guess he got them, and everything's okay. This is probably one of the most unique sold videos that I've seen on eBay or on YouTube in a while. So I hope that if you like the content that I put out, that you will smash that like button and you will subscribe to this channel. It would be fantastic. We're looking to march towards that 10,000. 
I want to hit that 10,000 next year uh, on on YouTube. That's my goal for 2020 is to be at 10,000 subs and uh, hopefully you will smash that button and you'll help get me there because I really appreciate it. It don't cost anything to hit that subscribe button. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a good day. Keep on digging. Keep on picking. God bless you guys. And remember, the family that picks together sticks together. Good night. And let me be the first to tell you, Merry Christmas. Like everything about you.